Okay, today we're going to talk about idle valves, uh, specifically step motor idle valves, but um, pulse width modulation idle valves are uh, very similar. Um, main difference with a step motor is there's four wires um, and uh, we have to put it into a home position, whereas a pulse width modulation one's two or three wires and uh, they have no home position. Okay, so we go into this is an MS3, but it's the same for MS2. It's the same sort of circuit. Go into idle control and start value. These are the settings. You have to have a read of the idle page on my website or the PDF file that's on your CD, but um, <coughs> to get a gist of what every setting does, I'm just going to run through the basics and try and show you how they work, how it works. Um, start value 250 in my case this is how much this idle valve has moved forwards in order to get it to its home position <coughs> okay start value this is how much when you turn the power on to the ECU the idle valve needs to find its home position to do that its home position is normally a stop um, a physical stop that the idle valve will come against so um, in the rover V8 instance that's the idle valve fully out so it shuts the idle air off so I would guess this is how most idle valves are um, so this is actually the closed position so um, start value is in order to because the ECU doesn't know when what position it stopped in last we're going to move it forward until it reaches its stop and then a little bit beyond um, in this case I know that mine is, um, moves about 200, 230 steps, so 250 steps takes it a little bit beyond, takes it further, so it's de definitely against its stop. OK, I can show you what I mean by when I turn the ECU on, this little switch over here, you'll see the idle valve come out, then it'll go in again. It goes into its cranking position before it starts, but it comes out. Uh, dependent on it comes out the amount of steps that you set in the start value so in my case that'll come out 250 steps so I'll switch on now out oh, okay. Let's pop, okay let's try that again turn the ignition on it comes out then goes back in again a little bit so it's come out and that would should have hit against its stop so once it hits against the stop it stalls so you'll feel a little bit of vi vibration and uh, then it comes back goes back in again to open the air valve up ready for cranking so the position it now sits in will be its position ready for cranking depending on what you've put in the uh, cranking uh, stepper controller okay the housing on this case sits inside there there's a hole in there you can see and this seat sits in that hole so when that's in there this comes all the way out, hits that seat and stalls. So you need to, if you put your hand on the idle valve as you turn the ignition on, you'll feel it come out and then vibrate and buzz a little bit as it stalls. And that's when you need, um, that's when you know it's actually against its home position. Okay, so this is in its home, it's in its housing. So if I turn the ignition on, you'll hear it, hopefully hear it go out and then buzz as it reaches its limit. On. There you go. So it goes out, buzzes as it hits its stop, and then comes back in, back in again, um, it ready for cranking in its cranking position. So basically, you increase or decrease this value uh, depending on how much it takes to move it until it buzzes or until it stalls. Um, if you have happened to open the idle valve up during the settings, if you haven't to open the idle valve up beyond, say for instance in my case, beyond say 250 steps, if I was having to open it beyond 250, that would take more than 250 steps to get it back again, um, if I was to turn the ignition off at that point. So just bear that in mind. So if you find that that isn't returning fully and the idle um, air is uh, changing, then it could be that you haven't got enough in your start value. Okay, if you don't want closed loop, 
and I would suggest you only do clues loop at the end of the tune when you finish everything else you can go to stepper motor moving only or always on or pot switch modulation warm up so put idle step moving only and you have to have a look at my manual for explaining all of these there's just too much to sort of go through if I click on burn there so we're just moving only which basically means that's not closed loop you just set how many steps you want everything to move at so the idle steps all you've got here is you set the idle steps there's a chart on the right hand side and there's a, ga a graph of what the chart is so as the engine's colder you need more steps so as it opens up more to let more air in as the engine gets warmer and warmer you shut the valve down closes it down so you have less and less steps so the valve's moving closer and closer to its home position which is idle shut and um, until you um, you get to sort of 75 80 degrees and that's where it'll be run that when it's up to temperature so all you do is when you've got as the engine's warming up just increase these or decrease these until the engine rpm is where you roughly want it and um, just follow the rpm up with the coolant tune it as you go and uh, that'll follow that and but that won't chase the idle speed that's just a um, open loop in idle control you've also got idle cranking steps I at cranking steps which is basically the position that after it's gone to its home position which is all the way to the stop it then comes out or back in again rather this to this position ready to be started so you can see mine's sitting at 138 steps coolant is 102 degrees so it's over 85 degrees in my case 138 steps is where I've set it for and that's where the idle valves sitting ready to go if I drop the coolant hopefully if I drop the coolant down to 3 degrees switch it off and on again should go 168 when it comes back to life 168 so now the um, IAC, the idle valve is open more because there's a bigger number there's an open more to let more air in because the engine's colder during cranking that's to stop you having to put your foot on the accelerator during cranking so that's before you start the engine when, once the ignition's been on it comes to, it goes out to its home position however many steps you've set then it comes back to open the valve up to the ready for the cranking.